This is the way. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. For another review this time, I'm going to be talking about The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is back and streaming on Disney Plus for its second season. And I'll be going over the first episode or chapter nine, as it's also called, The Marshal. I'm not going to be getting into spoilers. I'm just going to be giving my overall thoughts of the episode as a whole and kind of just my reactions to some things. I'm going to be trying to do one of these per week for each episode. There's gonna be eight episodes in the season, so if you do the math, for eight weeks, I'll be having a Mandalorian episode video. Funny little story before I get into my thoughts. Because the episode was streaming on October 30th, the episode comes out at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I didn't figure that out until around 12 o'clock. So then I thought, okay, I can stay up till 3 a.m. I've done it plenty of times before, doing homework, projects, editing. And so basically, I, was procrastinating <laughs> and was on YouTube on down the YouTube rabbit hole and I fell asleep and I woke up and it was the next morning I just decided to watch the episode today here I am posting my review and these are my thoughts this episode was written and directed by John Favreau and I think that you can kind of tell at certain points that it is sort of his style I think he's done a couple episodes last season along with a combination of Dave Filoni as well. First thing that really stuck out to me is the cinematography in general. The last season really, I think, embodied some great cinematography. I think the set on Tatooine and just the camera work and those wide shots uh, really put you in the Star Wars world. It's breathtaking, the stuff that they're able to do. A combination of CGI and practical effects really does help the story and help the show. It gives that real life feel to what's going on. And it's also pretty cool, the stuff that they're able to do. This isn't a Mandalorian review without me talking about Ludwig Göransson, who I've praised before, I think in my last movie review with Connor Griffin, we talked about his score for Tenet. The music in this show is just so good. It's so unique and it's just got such a vibe to it that I find myself sometimes just, <laughs> tapping away to the music or humming to the music or bobbing my head back and forth because it's just so it's just so good like I can't explain it but it fits so well into the show and the story and it adds another layer to how good this production really is first kind of scene with Mando in it is really a great way to start off the season I'm not gonna go into too much of what happens but I was captivated initially when this thing started and I thought it's already better than season one. I thought the, the value, the production quality was already better. A couple moments of dialogue where I, I thought was a little too quirky, just kind of didn't really flow very well. Other than that, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought that there was a lot of really good stuff. I know that there's been some talk about, you know, last season, the cohesiveness of the story and kind of basically the first couple episodes and then the last couple episodes of the arc of the show, kind of splitting it up is the beginning of the show, you have the story elements and then in the middle of the show, you have these side quests and then at the end, it comes full circle and you have those story arcs. In this episode, I think what they did was they were able to balance story arc and side quests at the same time. Like you get some story, you do, that is important I think for the overall plot of the season and you also get a side quest that I thought was really cool and really well done. It's something that I think a lot of people will enjoy. Maybe some people will be frustrated by what goes on in this episode, but I found myself really enjoying the majority of it. And I thought the performances were really good as they always are because the acting is great. Pedro Pascal, top notch actor. And I can't forget mentioning Baby Yoda, obviously the star of the show, who doesn't love Baby Yoda? He's fantastic. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that this episode is a good base for the start of the season. I do hope that they get more into a traditional story arc. I think that that's where they're going to go, or at least I hope that's where they're going to go. It's difficult when you have eight episodes, only eight episodes in a season, and comparing that to a Clone Wars that is around 22 episodes, it's a little different when you can break those episodes up and have a filler episode here and a filler episode there so you can break up story arcs. 
But when you have only eight episodes, it really hurts the season overall when you break things up. I think that there's a lot of things that are on the table for the upcoming episodes that I don't think that they're gonna push to the side until the end. I think the ending is going to be, you know, more of a reactionary to some of the stuff that goes on earlier on in the season. That's just my opinion. But I'm really excited to see where this goes. I enjoyed this first episode. Overall, when I do my overall thoughts on the show, I will give a score for the season and compare it to season one because right now, in my opinion, I'm already enjoying this more than season one. I th and I think that it's got the potential to be even better than season one, but we'll wait and see. So those were my thoughts of The Mandalorian, season two, episode one, The Marshall. Let me know down below in the comments if you saw this episode, what you thought of it, if you're excited for The Mandalorian and the episodes to come. Remember to like the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as well. And that'll be all for me, guys. Thank you for watching and appreciate the support as always. Peace out.